Panzer? Get out of here. That's crazy. That's cool. <laughs> That's a, oh well, they're all Panzers, that Panzer Mandana, that, this is a Tiger, yep. Yeah. Tiger? Yeah. Tiger one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I mean, very few made. Right. Uh, iconic, but no effect on the war. And in the end, almost all destroyed by the Allies, by the Russian T-34, the American Sherman. Too late. Too, uh, too late, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, they run out of fuel and everything anyway. Or people as well. Yeah. Run out of everything. Are you from Australia? Yeah. Wow, you came all the way for this show? Yeah, yeah, wow. I do, do a job as, couple of jobs as well. I, we do a bit of business in the US, but I originally organised to come here for the for the show. Yeah, sweet. And I've got some business meetings on the way on the side as well, so it makes it worthwhile. Yeah, you come all the way halfway around the world with your Panzer. Well, that's yeah, it's well, cool. Well, I, I didn't, I didn't come the same plane. I made sure I flew an air freight and another plane. Did the customs give you any problems? What's that? Did you have any yes, problems at customs? Yes, always problems. I don't go, I pre clear it and send it in big box. I think this is a secret weapon. <laughs> the most difficult was Germany. It took me a month. I had to pay a $15,000 bond and they define it as a vehicle. They actually treat it as a real tank. And then um, for the US, I had to do all the normal air freight because it's got an engine in it, a motor. So that means it's dangerous goods. But I also had to certify the gun. Couldn't fire or easily be converted to fire. There's just no way you can let it fly in a plane if they think there's guns in it or into the US. I mean, once you're in the US, you get heaps of guns, but yeah, they don't want. <laughs> can, yeah. Will Will that gun actually fire? Can you make it to nah, fire? Oh, or, or good, it's but it'd be madness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering. I mean, there's Gatling guns around here. That's right. You know, you could I, I could do it. But I, there's a, the big, the big problem is remote <coughs> control. That's what they all freak about. Because you put a Gatling gun on that, you go, hey, look what I can do. And, and it you shorts look, out. You lose control. You kill. That's it. <laughs> in Europe, it's illegal to discharge a projectile over a certain size and force. By remote control, so it's no. So normally I would have the gun flash, the recoil, the noise, and it has a muzzle blast of Johnson's baby powder, oh, really? police gun. But they've asked me here, not inside, not to do that. Sure. Yeah. That's cool. There you go. Thank you for the demo. No worries. So yeah. That's amazing. I'll pull the pull the top. I, did anyone want to see the top of it off? No. Yeah. Oh, you have to. Yeah. A bit later on, I will. Yeah. Inside. Yeah. The cockpit. Yeah. All the cup, it's not much of a cup. Yeah, why not? Oh, wow. That's quite a cockpit. Isn't that something? Junction box. A lot going on in there. Yep. Speakers. Compressor. Mm -hmm. Retract. Make it easy. So you got a V12? Yeah. 
pit, uh, gasoline, petrol. You guys call gasoline? Gasoline, a B12. Yeah. Two right out is seven cooling fans. There's two fans along each. There's a fan on each uh, exhaust manifold plus a cooling one in here. Standard spark ignition, uh, single overhead cam, two valves per cylinder, 150 cc. 150 cc? Uh, yeah, 150, yeah. 0.15 litre. Yeah. Then going through a flat belt clutch into a homemade gearbox. It's all homemade. Yeah, but it's much less powerful. I, I, no torque. Well, no, it's got torque. It's I've strangled I've strangled the motor so that it starts and idles and makes a reasonably small amount of power because it's more reliable. And also, you know, the Tiger tanks they weren't fast anyway. This will go. They just lumbered along, especially. Uh, over broken ground, they were very slow because they used to break. In the newsreels, they used to put them across pretty quick, but generally they ran them really slowly. So it's more scale for it because it's lumber along, and and also it takes the stress off it. Yeah. Have you been to the Tank Museum in Fort Knox, Kentucky, Louisville? Yeah, you guys, you Yankees want it. I'll tell you a story about that. It's more interesting what happened when I went there. My mate uh, in Louisville. Yeah. So we we'll go down there, and I said, "That's sort of interesting." I know. Read a lot of books about patent and stuff, so I got down there. I'm not let go in because I'm not a U.S. citizen. Oh, get out of here! Uh, uh, th but th there is a reason for it. They're very apologetic. There's a reason. The um, they're moving the armor, main armor, tank armor for the museum down to Fort Benning. Oh, Georgia. And so that means they're working on the museum at Fort Knox, is it? Yes. And you can only now go in if you go on base. So that's why you can't, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, that, they, they explain it, and I was happy. And I said to the guy, look, I'm even more wrapped, because I don't mind going to the museum, but I'm more wrapped on all that too, because now I can tell my mates why I'm only going to the museum. You might want to go to Wright Patterson Airport Museum. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. That would be worth a trip. Yeah, I, I, yeah I, I would like to go to Fort Benning one day when I finish it. I've displayed this at the German Tank Museum in Germany. Yeah. And also in England. But I'll run it if you like with the top off. You can see the mechanism working. Yes. What's that? You're still boasting about this. I'm not boasting. We don't know when that went on. That's right. I'm just happy if it runs. Oh, man. So often with the bigger the number of people, the more unreliable it is. How many years have you had it on? 12 years to make it. No, I mean, how long has it been done? Probably, a, probably, I still work on it a fair, not so much now, but maybe a year. Yeah. I still have to go over it before, probably before it's over, I would test it, test it. I know that hell out of my wife, up and down the driveway and all that sort of stuff, just <laughs> test it. Because I know I want it to go when it gets here. And because you've got to strip it down before it comes, you've got to drain the oil, fuel, batteries, everything out of it to be air freight. That's a Briggs and Stratton starter. Right? You can't escape the Americans, can you? You gotta have something to in the USA. Timing belt. Yeah. No time is enough. So how much how much China can't check? Yeah, there's a bit of China. <laughs> there's bits from everywhere in there's bits from every I actually looked at it one day and I realised there's stuff from just about everywhere. This, the fuel pump is made of all places and it's my great embarrassment and shame, it's made New Zealand. <laughs> and we hate those bastards, so, oh yeah, but it's a, it's a great fuel pump, so. Uh, it's, it's, I'll, I'll tell you, last, about a month ago, my daughter's a doctor in New Zealand. About a month ago, and I went down to New Zealand with my wife, and we went on a boat cruise. And the New Zealand boat guy said, "Now there's the New Zealand Navy. We do peacekeeping and disaster relief. We don't have an offensive capability." He said, "Because New Zealand, the whole world loves New Zealanders. And we haven't got enemies, except for one country, and we're all waiting, and it's Australia. And of course, there's Aussies on the boat. Ah, oh, that's right out there." That's the relationship. Big brother, Canada and the US. That's what it's like. It's a bit more it's a bit more vocal than that. Um, so anyway. Plate, plate 12, plate 12 plate.
eight-speed, you'll see the gearbox is uh, Squeaks like a panzer. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome.